If you're a Republican and someone asks you what your favorite number is, you should probably say 40. Because, after all, as a conservative, you're a strong supporter of Israel, and the father of Israel, Moses, wandered with his people in the desert for 40 years. And if you think I'm going to mention Noah and his 40 days of rain, I'm not, because he was just another liberal who tried to sell his people on the idea of climate change. No, if you're a Republican, the only prophet worthy of following in Moses' footsteps would be Ronald Reagan, who was the 40th president of the United States who led the GOP to the promised land, but who also failed to lead them to victory in overturning Roe versus Wade, which has now been the law of the land for 40 years. Not that that will stop conservatives from bashing their heads against that wall again and again, just as they're refusing to stop bashing their heads against Obamacare, which they will once again, for the 40th time, bring up for a vote in Congress tomorrow, trying again to rescind it on the last day before their summer recess, despite the fact that they don't have the votes to do so. And sadly for them, this is their last chance to do so because come October, shortly after Congress returns, most Americans who receive health care from their workplace will be presented with new choices from their employers based upon the changing landscape of health care driven by competition among insurance companies via the Affordable Health Care Exchange. And failing an unforeseen catastrophe, once this major component of Obamacare goes into effect and businesses see their costs in providing health insurance to their workers falling, it's game over and there'll be no turning back. So, enjoy your 40th vote tomorrow, Republicans, and enjoy your long 37-day summer break. But seriously, couldn't you have just made it an even 40 days?